Hey guys, it's Rashad here from rnbsingingLessons.com. All right, I'm going to teach you a very important thing to know. Singing, improvement in your singing happens extremely gradually. It's extremely gradual. And the number one decider of your improvement will be how many repetitions you do and what kind of repetitions they are, what it is that you're doing repetitions of. Sudden changes do not happen. There's no such thing as you suddenly learning to sing better, suddenly sounding better in a few minutes, in a few days, in a few weeks. Weeks is not sudden, weeks is a long time. But you know, if you know what I mean, right? In terms of it's something that takes months to years to see a clear big change, not the little little tiny gradual changes is what you should expect to see okay nothing happens suddenly okay a, a good analogy maybe it might help you understand you don't suddenly go from lifting five kilos on dumbbell dumbbells for example to suddenly lifting 50 after a couple of sessions it doesn't happen you know it's very gradual you go from five seven point five ten 12.5 15 you get stuck somewhere for a while then you maybe have to go back a bit you move forward a bit take a step back you take two steps forward you get stuck again when you get up to 30 a year down the track two years down the track maybe you're lifting that 50 kilos maybe you might maybe five years down the track depending on your genetic capability your genetic ability how gradually you've been progressing it's very gradual same with singing okay now what is the key to gradually lift more weight getting stronger with your body you have to do enough reps you have to go into the gym or have a dumbbell at home or whatever you have to lift that weight enough times for your body to get used to it it's the same with singing you have to do enough reps of notes or phrases for your voice to get used to it your voice has to get used to holding a note Okay, it has to get used to being like this note, then this note comes next, and that's what this note feels like. Then this note comes next, and that's what that note feels like. This is what it feels like doing it very slowly. Then I'm gradually going to go faster and faster and faster and faster. Now with singing, going faster with notes, it's kind of like getting heavier with weight. Sort of like that, right? So nothing happens suddenly. You need to be patient. It's a long-term game. Long-term is months to years. Um, of thousands and thousands of repetitions hundreds of hours of work okay <clears throat> can you imagine yourself doing a half hour a day of learning and practicing of actual reps a half hour might be maybe a hundred or two hundred reps okay let's say it's a hundred reps in a half hour so add in the reps so 10 days, you'll do a thousand reps, okay? 10 days, maybe you do them over two weeks. So over a year, if you did two weeks times two times 25, let's say you do 25,000 reps over a year, you'll be much different than you were when you only did 1,000 reps in 10 days. Can you see what I mean? It's hard to see the long-term picture. It's hard to see the vibrato because it's so far away. It's hard to see yourself killing those runs because it's so far, a year is so far away. It's so far, it's a lot of work. It's 25,000 reps away from you getting faster and being killer at that run, from you killing that verse and hitting every note really accurately. When I first met you, waiting, standing up at the bus stop, I knew you were someone special. We come in knees, I wanted to drop, yeah, yeah. Hitting that vibrato, hitting the run that I did. Stop, stop, stop. Now, at the beginning of your 25,000 reps, it might look like stop, it might just look like that, right? But at the end, it'll look like stop. And maybe 50,000 reps, it'll look like stop. Can you see the difference? Like, 
I just show you it like this, right? But in reality, it's like 10,000 reps between each stage, approximately. Vibrato. I know, I know. You're hearing me 50 to 100,000 reps in. Now, don't be discouraged if you're only 1,000 reps in. You know what I mean? It takes a long, it takes months to years for these thousands of reps to accumulate these thousand slow motion reps that's assuming you're training properly by training properly i mean you're doing everything in slow motion first you that's slow to fast that thing that i just did took me about a hundred thousand reps maybe to learn to do that so don't be discouraged be patient it's going to take a long time it's going to take thousands and thousands of reps at least to create this new thing in you the great thing about your voice is you don't lose it you don't lose the skill once you've learned it you're not going to forget how to do it that's the great thing whereas with bodybuilding and muscles you do lose your muscles if you stop training them so it's like bodybuilding is a bit different i just like to use this as an analogy because i used to do bodybuilding very like much more seriously and um so I like to use it as an analogy and because we know people can go from skinny to muscular it's like it's very clear it's proven it's obvious now right there's a lot of evidence but with voices it's not as clear there isn't as much evidence of people sounding like a beginner and then sounding advanced one or two three years later there isn't that much evidence of it there's some transformation videos on YouTube but they're not that clear that look there's a beginner and he's an advanced person now so I like to use the bodybuilding thing as an analogy but bottom line it takes thousands of reps to get good. That was my journey. Watch my transformations if you haven't seen them. That was my journey. It does happen. It just takes patience, persistence. You cannot actually, if you quit too early, you're not going to see further progress. If you quit at 5,000 reps, you're not going to see what, where, what 25,000 reps, if you'll ever get there, if you'll ever have the vibrato, have the pitch accuracy on your verse or whatever have the range or whatever it is you're trying to develop the overall voice you'll never know if you quit too early so please don't quit too early it's just a time game time and reps okay a year might pass and you might only do 5,000 reps you'll make 5,000 reps worth of progress if you do 25,000 reps you do 25 you make 25,000 reps of progress so pick what you're going to focus on with your voice. Get a teacher to help you along the way so you never waste any reps. So you're always doing as many as possible quality reps, not reps that are like not really working, if you know what I mean, because it does matter. You do hit plateaus. It's like in bodybuilding where you might get to 15 kilos, hit a plateau. Oh, I can't lift any more than this. Then you need to change up the strategy. And that's where a teacher comes in and helps you with the strategies along the way. So you never hit the plateau for a long time for more than a week or something you're always like i've got a new strategy i'm rashad rmbsinglessons.com if you guys want one-on-one -on -one lessons i hope this has helped you be patient stay consistent do the reps thousands and thousands and thousands of reps is what it's going to take don't forget that see ya